Hi, I'm Dr. Frias. I'm the medicine degree coordinator of, uh, in the University Cardenal Herrera CEU. Uh, we are right now in my old office. Uh, it's the last day since uh, we are moving to the new building, uh, the new building for the uh, Faculty of Health Sciences. So I'm going to uh, answer several questions from um, students uh, that, that they are coming from abroad and they are concerned about uh, what's going on in the degree of medicine. The first question comes from Omar from Morocco and he's asking about if there is an exam for the degree of medicine. Uh, the answer is yes. So we have a, a, an admission test but uh, you have uh, Omar all the information in the web page of the university. Our next question comes from uh, Lana Deep from Norway and he, she wants us know uh, if there are a lot of practice in the first and second year of uh, medicine school. Uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, practice but uh, all these practices uh, are uh, done uh, following uh, the teaching guide that uh, it's imposed by the Spanish government. So we don't have the uh, capability to uh, remove or, or add more practices. Um, we have another question from Lia from Varela and he's asking about what's the average class size and are they all in English, uh, although this information is also in the web page. Uh, we have an average uh, class size of 50 uh, students, uh, although sometimes, depending if you don't pass the subjects, this uh, number can grow up up to 60, 65 students. And about if uh, all the subjects are in English, about approximately 50% of all the subjects are in English. Uh, especially first year, second year and the first semester of uh, third year are all the subjects in, uh, in English. Uh, we changed to Spanish since uh, practices in hospital are uh, public ones and private and the patients uh, they are Spanish. Although sometimes we had some students that uh, they face uh, foreign patients. We have another uh, question from Federico from Italy that uh, he's asking why Theo medicine degree is different compared with other universities. As I answered before to uh, Leah, uh, one of the main features for the degree is the short number of students uh, we have in our classes. So uh, for the professor it's easy to communicate with the students and it's kind of a private uh, private lectures for the students. And finally, we have from Belgium, uh, Yaya, that she's making several questions about the medicine degree. How is a normal day at Medicine University? Well, it depends. Depends if you are in the first years where you have plenty of uh, practices in-house, in the labs, or you are in third year, fourth year, fifth year, or the final year, where you are going to do plenty of uh, practices at hospital, uh, private or, or public ones. What time is uh, starting? Uh, it also depends. Uh, usually, if you don't have a good level of Spanish, uh, you need to prove uh, that uh, you have at least a B1 or B2 level of Spanish. So typically, uh, classes or practices uh, uh, starts at 10 a.m. till uh, in the afternoon usually 8 but it depends because we have only Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday where we have lectures uh, during the morning we have seminar, workshops, practices and Thursday and Friday uh, Thursday is the whole day dedicated to practices, uh, seminars and Friday usually uh, on Mondays uh, on, on morning excuse me we have uh, we have uh, seminars and some practices. What is the role of uh, a tutor? How frequent a student can see, uh, can look for uh, support? Uh, the role of the tutor is to guide uh, the students uh, when they arrive to a, a new location, especially if you come from abroad. Uh, we are going to, uh, I mean, it's gonna be kind of friendship in the way that we are going to guide you what are the best ways to study, what are the best ways to successfully uh, pass all the subjects 
and become a good student and it's something that is going to be uh, private so whatever you tell me uh, is going to keep between is going to be between you and the tutor uh, since uh, I'm a tutor for uh, first year uh, students can trainship uh, be done abroad uh, as far as i know uh, if you find a place uh, and we establish a uh, a concert with this uh, with these places uh, we can set up uh, these uh, practices these internships uh, to be done abroad uh, during the open days I understood that uh, there are tests through addition of to the final exams what is the weight of the intermediate compared with the final exam well uh, this is about uh, every subject so the best uh, advice I can give you is you need to check for it's a teaching guide where the weight of uh, the midterms uh, is evaluated depending on uh, its professor. Uh, thank you very much and I hope I'll see you soon.